If you've converted from Roll20 to Foundry, then you may be used to a simple Fog of War feature that blocks all of your player's vision and lets you manually remove the fog, ensuring that they can only ever see what you want them to see. For a long time, that functionality hasn't really been doable in Foundry without placing a bunch of opaque tiles across the map and deleting them as you go, which just gives me bad memories of carefully covering my printed out maps on the kitchen table, which would inevitably get blown away when someone turned on the overhead fan. That time is over now, though, due to the amazing efforts of Vance from the Foundry Discord server and the module that he developed called Simple Fog. Simple Fog adds a new tool to the Foundry bag of tricks and a new layer on the canvas that you have total control over while still getting as much use out of Foundry's dynamic line of sight system as you want. You can even enable or disable Simple Fog on a scene-by-scene -scene basis so you don't have to use it on every map. So, if you have a map you haven't set up with walls and lights yet, but your players make an unexpected decision and wind up there a few sessions early, you can turn Simple Fog on and reveal the map as they navigate through without having to call for an emergency snack break while you set them up. It's also an excellent way to handle exploration on a world map that gives a nice sense of progression as they explore your setting. Here's a quick breakdown of how Simple Fog works before the demo, though. Foundry has a number of layers that make up the game. First, we have the gridded background, then the map layer, then the wall and light layer that tokens interact with, and then layers for things like the weather effects, the tool and scene navigation bar, etc., etc. Simple Fog adds a new layer above the wall, light, and token layer so you can cast all the lower layers in shadow where, like Simba in the Pride Lands, your players must never go. Now let's take a look at using Simple Fog in the absolute simplest way we can and build up to cooler uses with a few different examples that will hopefully make it clear how the module works so you can do your own experiments and find what works best for you. Then we'll take a look at a few additional settings that make it even more useful. Our first example is basically just Roll20's free Fog of War system. We'll use this scene where I haven't placed any walls and I have global illumination turned on in the scene configuration so the whole map will be well lit. Since I haven't removed any of the fog, our player can't see anything. When I use any of the tools available to start brushing away though, suddenly they can see. We can use it like a normal paintbrush and even adjust its size if we want to reveal a larger area, a grid removal tool which will work with either squares or hexes, a multi-point shape tool that we can use to click around and define a shape, a rectangle removal tool, or a circle removal tool. You can even hit Ctrl Z when you're on the Simple Fog Tools menu to undo things. Whatever tool you choose to use, all you have to do is set the slider to either reveal or hide with in-between zones making a kind of uh, pseudo-dim vision. So long as I'm careful not to reveal beyond the walls, uh, the players will never be able to see where they're not supposed to, even if they move their token into an unrevealed area because there was no wall to stop them. It also makes it so they have vision in areas where they can't necessarily see from their vantage point because I've decided I wanted to reveal the entire room, including this sneaky little kobold hiding in the corner. That's pretty cool. Let's make it even better by taking a look at the exact same map where I do have walls placed and everything else is the same. In this scenario, if I reveal the exact same parts of the room, our player won't be able to move through the walls or see past them, which means they can't see our kobold lying in wait. That's because I've removed Simple Fog's Fog of War, but Foundry's underlying Fog of War and Line of Sight system is still there in the layer underneath Simple Fog's Fog of War layer. If we move our player over there, uh, the underlying Fog of War is dispelled and we can see the Kobold. If we move back to our original position though, where the Kobold was out of sight, we can't see it again. With our main examples out of the way, let's get into the settings panel and see what else we can do. We can control the color of the fog for both the GM and the players, as well as how opaque it is. It's nice to have it a little lower as a GM so you can see what you're revealing, but for players I would generally leave it at 100%, but you can reduce it for them as well. Next up are some filter settings. I'm going to zoom in really close on the edge of the fog of war so you can get a good look at what these do. First off is the blur radius, which determines how much around the edge of your revealed area should be visible. The blur quality slider controls how smooth the blur is. These two settings can have a negative impact on lower end machines though, so be sure to double check with your players if their computers are struggling and reduce them if necessary. The transition settings option controls how long it takes to go from the current opacity setting to a newly selected one up here at the top of the settings panel. 
This makes it so we can do cool fade-ins or fade-outs if we want to, while not losing anything we've already revealed. Let's jump to a new scene to see an example of a fade-in. I'm going to set the transition speed to 5000, which is 5 seconds, and make sure Enable Transitions is checked. Then I'll move the window out of the way and reduce the player's fog opacity setting. Terrific. I'm going to jump back to my previous scene to show off what the Enable Automatic Visibility settings do now. When this setting is enabled, we can hide tokens from our players by setting the Reveal and Hide slider to be either higher or lower than the value we select in the Settings panel, and we can make it so that we as GM see it that way too by checking the Enable for GM button. Let's set the slider and the Settings panel to around 75 and our Reveal and Hide slider to around 90, which is near the far right end of the slider. We'll see that our brush becomes red, and if we paint out the area the token is in, it will be hidden. If we decrease the reveal and hide slider to around uh, 50, we'll see that our brush becomes green, and when we brush over it now, the token becomes visible again. Last but not least, we can save these settings as their default, so they'll stick across scenes, or just hit OK to save it for this scene. There's one other option in our toolbar, which is the trash can. If we click that, it will refer everything back to an unrevealed state. That should cover just about everything that you could need to know about the Simple Fog module. I hope this was helpful to everybody out there, and I want to give huge props to Vance for making it. Uh, I know a lot of people have been asking about for something like it, and it's awesome to have now because I think it'll make life a lot easier for you Roll20 converts or any low prep DMs out there. He's also working on a bunch of new features for the module, and you can find a link to the GitHub repo in the description below. If you want to hear about updates to the module, let me know in the comments, and I'll be sure to post here and on Twitter about new features as they come. In the meantime, stay safe, have fun, and I'll see you in the next one.